What's up guys, this is Eddie Man Hag with Make Digital Art and today I'm going to show you how to draw straight lines in Krita. I'm going to show you how to do that in two ways, using the line tool and using the brush tool. So let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do before we even draw is create a new file and make sure that our canvas or document is set to resolution 300 ppi. That's because when you print, that's the resolution you need to work out to make sure your lines are smooth in print as well as digital because if you use something that's a lower standard like 72 or 150 ppi you may be getting smooth lines digitally on your screen but once you print they might come out rough so to make sure we avoid that problem from the start you just start at 300 ppi and all that'll do is increase the file size so if you want to work at a lower ppi you can do that it's perfectly fine for digital just concerns print so that's what we'll do all right, and if you guys could do me a huge favor, if you like these tips, make sure you like the video and subscribe if you're not, if you're interested in this type of content. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys, like I said, is the line tool, how to draw lines with the line tool that are straight. So you're going to click on your line tool in the left toolbar here. Click where you want the line to start, hold shift, and then drag. And then once you release, you'll draw that line that was previewed to you. So now that's how you get a perfectly straight line. If you want to increase or decrease the size, you just go up here to the top and you decrease the size. Hold shift, same as before. It gives you a preview of the line and you can angle these lines as well to draw whatever type of shapes you want. You can do that. There you go. So that's how you draw perfectly straight lines with the line tool. Now, Moving on to the brush tool over here, you want to make sure you switch over to your brush tool. We're going to clear the canvas with the undo button here. It's also control Z. And the first thing we're going to do for the brush tool is see over here on the side. Once you click the brush tool, make sure you've clicked it. You'll have these tabs pop up on the right hand side of your screen. The first one is advanced color selector. We want to go to the second one, tool options. A setting here called brush smoothing. It currently says none by default this is set to basic so what that'll do is I'll show you right here I'm just gonna increase the brush size so you guys can see this if we draw a line using the default setting it'll look like that so there's a little bit of roughness around the edges but it's pretty smooth if we use none it'll have even more jagged and rough edges and if we go to weighted it'll be a little bit smoother Go to stabilizer, even smoother. So the way this works is it basically just gradually increases the smoothness, but it kind of takes a little bit longer for credit to process and draw the actual line. So most people by default will keep it on basic just to kind of have that balance between speed and smoothness. Now, another thing that may be affecting your lines, making them not straight is your brush settings. Up here at the top left, there's this button here, click on that. It'll show me tabs here on the left. Click on the one that says brush tip under general. And then over here, you'll see a bunch of settings. The only ones that matter to us for making straight smooth lines are anti-alias and spacing here. Now, these by default should be checked on and that's what I have. So I'm gonna show you what the lines look like on the canvas here so you guys can see. I'm just gonna do couple of lines so you guys can see they're perfectly smooth even if I just click we get a perfectly smooth dot and I'll zoom in here just so you guys can get a better picture now if I turn these two settings off which could happen by either you editing the settings or using custom brushes that you found we'll go back and now you'll see when I click there you see this circles a lot more rough and if we zoom in we really can see the difference between the two and if we zoom back out just draw some lines we'll see that this one's a lot more jagged if you guys found these tips helpful like the video and subscribe for more content like this and just so it's practical i'll actually do a drawing here real quick just so you guys can see just a stick man but you guys can already see kind of that jagged edging there and turn these two back on to add the smoothing back in. Now if I draw that same stick man, 
you'll see that there's none of that weird jagged edging going on there are no rough lines they're a lot more smooth and straight subscribe for more tips and tutorials like this in the future make digital art thank you for watching